Hello and welcome to the Inquisitive Universe. As usual, my name is Jeffrey. You are welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about something very, very important. It's super important. At least I consider it to be very, very important. And I believe that everyone should know about this because if you turn up here to watch me um, every weekend or even if it's not every weekend, but you still turn up to watch me anyway, I believe it would be a great disservice to me and to you if I do not say these things. Because the people who are supposed to tell us about it don't care. Unfortunately, I haven't seen a single one of them mention it. They've not. Instead, they're probably looking for big endorsement deals right now, you know, trying to cozy up to these people. And somebody may say, <laughs> I know people who, <coughs> who are watching this right now will say, okay, but no, it's the truth, right? And it's very few people who are willing to discuss stuff like this and you know i was talking about it on social media the other day and somebody was like no jeff it's not really that much of a big deal the people who have the money will pay regardless it's not that big but what did they know about people who have money is that they don't throw money around like that they're actually very money conscious they know what they spend on and they know how they spend it and if they're spending on something that isn't going to give them tangible returns they don't it's it's people who don't even have money that those are the people who actually throw money away to feel better about themselves i'm sorry but it's true you see people with those millions and all that they're actually very careful how they spend money so with that let's talk about a new device that has been released for the nigerian market and for other select markets but i am in nigeria and i live in nigeria so this one bothers me directly even though i will not be buying the phone right and i will not really tell anybody to in good faith to go and buy it unless maybe they know what they are getting into before they buy it right i wouldn't say that but <clears throat> you know let's get on with the video now before i start talking about this particular phone right before i start talking about this particular phone i want to talk about something very briefly very quickly and it's something that happened you know like it's close to a decade now you know once upon a time when smartphone market was still coming up in this part of the world you know and the big companies were not here the samsung's and the apples and the you know the big companies that were making phones they were not present here so the people who brought phones here to sell were you know people who imported them the sellers the resellers and so on and so forth now when they brought phones over here most of the phones they brought were used phones and that was an issue because why are you bringing used phones for us then sellers came up with a gimmick a story to sell phones it was very simple they said <clears throat> and i quote if if you get this phone right now you see this us and this uk used and this china used and this indian version something companies make better phones for the us and the uk and asia than what they make for us here so if you're getting a us used phone from us it is a much better deal than when you buy it new because the one they brought here is rubbish. I feel like, oh my God, are you serious? You're like, yes, we are the ones that import these phones. We are telling you the truth. And bang, it caught on. And, you know, for a long time, I actually believed it myself that phones that were made for, you know, other countries are better than the ones that they brought back home here. And it was not up until recently when all the big companies now started moving into Nigeria and selling their products here that, you know, that stuff kind of like died away but it looks like it may be making a return and i'm sure that people those resellers and those sellers who import phones from abroad who still do are going to be licking their lips at this prospect now i'm going to go through with like three different examples before i settle down on the topic itself let's talk about the first one the oppo reno 8. very few people realize that the oppo reno 8 has two, ver two versions or two variants there's a 5g version and there's a 4g version the 5g version has a dimensity chipset inside the 4g version has a snapdragon 680 inside now obviously the dimensity version 5g is much better than the 4g version when the phone made its way here a lot of even though officially a lot of the um influencers and youtubers who reviewed it reviewed the 5g version when you go on on, on online and then you check oppo reno 8 you see the 5g version and when they called out the prices we got a certain price and then when you go to the store and you want to buy it what they were actually selling for people was the 4g version the weaker one the lesser variant so which means they primed people's minds in a certain way to expect a certain device that they, but when you went to buy it 
you'd see something else. Your poor Renault 8. I made a video about it, but it didn't really catch on. So let's put that to the side. Let's move on to the second one, the Redmi Note 12. The Redmi Note 12. Now, the Redmi Note 12 was announced sometime last year, I think very late last year, around November, December or so. And, you know, we saw you know, decent specs, but the one that stood out the most was the Snapdragon 4 Gen 1, which I believe, I still believe it is, that it's a good chipset, especially for the mid range segment. You know, it's 4 Gen 1 is decent, it's good. When the Redmi Note 12 made its way here, I mean, Xiaomi did all this advertising of the Redmi Note 12, of Redmi Note 12, you know, the, it, it came out for China, it was good, it's 4 Gen 1, Europe, 4 Gen 1, India, 4 Gen 1. When it came to Nigeria, we saw a recycled Redmi Note 11 that was given back to us. Hey, hey, hey maybe we didn't finish selling all these Redmi Note 11s, give it back to them, that was what we got. As if that wasn't bad enough, Redmi 12 5G came out and this announced it in India, 12 5G Europe, 12 5G China, 12 5G. When it came to Nigeria, they repackaged the old Redmi 10 from 2021 and then they gave it back to us and said, here guys, take, this is your Redmi 12, which is essentially Redmi 10. I don't know if you're following me. At this point in time, it is now starting to seem like we deserve inferior products. That's what these companies are saying because I don't know, I cannot see any other, there's no other way around it. We deserve inferior products, is that, that's, I don't know, that's what I see. And anybody with a brain, that's what they are seeing too, like, these people deserve inferior products, let's give them the inferior ones. So why am I going through all this? It's because of a phone called the Xiaomi 13T. Yes, the Xiaomi 13T, now those, for, for those who do not know this, Xiaomi has, you know, a flagship line of phones, and a flagship killer line of phones. The flagship line of phones is their best offerings. The Xiaomi 13, the Xiaomi 13 Pro, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and so on and so forth. But there's also a flagship killer segment of you know, phones that you know will give you close to what the flagship devices can offer, not exactly, whilst costing less. So if you if you know you cannot afford our high-end series, well, there's something you know like just a step below, right? It, you pay less, you, you get slightly less performance, slightly less camera, but that one is okay you can deal with that it's fine that's it that's the t-series so you've got the xiaomi 12 and you got the xiaomi 12 series there's xiaomi 11 xiaomi 11 t-series so we've got the xiaomi 13 currently xiaomi 14 is coming very soon so you've got the xiaomi 13 t-series so that's what it is now the 13 t-series is a photo centric phone it's a photography centered phone you know when you see when you see phones like maybe see the poco f5 for example you know that one is a performance based phone with the snapdragon 7 plus gen 2 and it doesn't pull any punches on that one the Xiaomi 13T and the 13T Pro are photography centered phones and you see that on this device they made a licensing deal, a brand deal with German lens makers called Leica. So what Leica would do, Leica did not make any of the lenses on the phone. I think I need to say that first. They didn't make any of the lenses on the phone but they are going to give them their branding, they are going to give them filters, software, maybe an app, filters, etc. you know to make the phone feel as though when you take pictures with it you're using a professional like a, a professional camera with maybe like a lenses as well and so forth like it, it's it's supposed to help boost the photography profile and the output of the phone so that one is that and they advertised heavily on it and when the phone was announced i was like nice and then the phone was announced here too this part of the world too this country and i was like nice it costs about 400 400 000 or 400 plus 430 or so i don't know the prices are always changing so i was like nice and then i forgot about it and then somebody recently messaged me on facebook like jeff i think you need to see this i'm like see what come on man you need to see this so i went to look at it and what i saw was that the xiaomi 13t i can't believe i actually overlooked it the xiaomi 13t that was launched in nigeria did not have the leica branding and I was like, maybe it's just something to do with the graphics, you know, with the images and the advertising and all that. But I caught myself, you know, I caught myself short and I was like, why would such a big company make such a huge blunder not put something that they are marketing for everybody into this device? So I went to check the phone online. Obviously, Xiaomi has two websites. There's one for the global, uh, several actually there's one for the global market and then there's one for region specific market in this case Nigerian market and then 
I swear it, it was written very clearly on the global site. You see, Leica Somnicron Lens, well advertised, you know, with all the bells and whistles that come with the Leica advert uh, branding and all that. On the Nigerian side, there was not even a single mention, not even a nothing. There was nothing, zero. There was absolutely nothing there. And I was like, so it's not a mistake. It's a deliberate act. Yes, it is. It is, and then you know, Jesse Marina carried then you know carried the news that select markets will not be getting the Leica branding. They don't know why. Only Xiaomi can answer why. Blah 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 blah. The end. Forget about it. And then that was when the conversation came up, and you know, people were like, forget about it. <coughs> not me. I can't. What that means is that. If somebody were to take out 400,000 naira, 400,000 naira plus of their own money to go out and buy something that they've seen advertised with a Leica camera in this country here, or Leica lens or branding or whatever, I'm just coming at it like this now. What they're not going to be getting what what advertised. Instead, they are going to be getting a you know a lesser variant, a lower value device or something. I'm, I don't know if you're, I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say right now. Which is sad because personally, if this company came out and said, hey, what we advertise for the global market is not going to come here, you're going to be getting a lesser variant and so on and so forth, I think that would be fair on the customers. But they didn't say any of that. So people here who, people like me who saw the Leica stuff and all the camera improvements and all the filters and blah, 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 and they did not actually put their ears to the ground to see what's happening in tech, will go and buy. And you know they will be short changed because that's the truth. Because if Xiaomi, did, if Xiaomi weren't going to short change their audience here, their customers in Nigeria would have said, "Hey, we are not bringing the one with the Leica branding and the cameras and the filters and all that here. We're not bringing it here. The one with the Leica branding, the thirteen T with the Leica branding, is not coming here. This is what's coming here. There was no such information. There was no such communication. It was. It's basically line by omission. That's what I call it. Line by omission. Trick by omission." And it's quite sad. And like I've called the red, there's the Redmi Note 12, there's the Redmi 12, and now there's the 13T. Who knows what they're going to do next? So this is why it's important to note that for the past few months, these companies have been giving us lesser variants of phones. They, they advertise something globally different. and. Let, let's even look at it to be more serious. I mean, in a world where sales figures, that's the amount of phones that a company can sell, is king. Nigeria is not a small country. We're not, a fi we're not, we're not some fish fry, you know, some country that has only 500,000 or a few million, you know, like, like inhabitants, population. We have well over 200 million people. It's a crazy market that everybody wants to get into. And the fact that a lot of these smartphone companies treat us with such disrespect and disregard is something that has to be looked into. Nigerians need to learn to vote with their pockets, the same way Indians have done. A lot of the stuff that they do to us here will not fly in a country like India. Never. It will not. But it flies here because lots of us are either we are nonchalant about it or we are ignorant about it or we simply just don't care and the people who are supposed to educate us and tell us about these things do not actually come out to tell us anything instead they're hunting for their next brand deal and their next endorsement take it whatever way they want to take it i don't care but that's the truth so that's the matter i don't know tell me what do you think you think i'm blowing smoke out of my nether regions or i'm just ranting or what just please let me know as usual my name is jeffrey thank you very much for coming if you want to support my work please i'm not asking for any money just like subscribe and share let people know what's going on it's our it's supposed to be our job to educate the public that's what we're supposed to be doing right i'll see you in the next one bye guys